everybody, welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. Today we're at Universal Orlando Resort to show you our favorite hotel on property. Maybe our favorite value hotel in all of Orlando. Yes, we're at Cabana Bay Beach Resort. And we're gonna take you on a tour of this place, show you why we love it. We'll show you the pools, we'll show you the restaurants, we'll show you the bars, we'll give you a, a tour of our room. <laughs> and you'll get to see why this place is so awesome. Come with us on this adventure. Before we head on in, I wanna show you how you can get to the parks from this resort. There's a shuttle stop right to the left of the resort. The shuttles go from an hour before the first park opens every 10 minutes until an hour after City Walk closes at the end of the night every 10 minutes. You gotta take the shuttle, you can't take the waterway like you can some of the other resorts. You can walk, it's like a 25 minute walk. Who wants to do that in this heat? Not me, not Kitra. <laughs> but you do get direct access to Volcano Bay. It's like right next to Volcano Bay. So you are a little bit further away, you do get the shuttle, but you also got the coolest hotel in town. One of the fun little details about this hotel is parked right outside. They have retro classic cars from the 50s and 60s. And in case you aren't a car expert, like, you know, we're not car experts here, they have you covered. You just look inside and it tells you what the car is and if it was ever featured in a classic movie. So that's pretty cool. Like this one. Oh, it was featured. Oh, just this model, not this exact car. Yeah. But something like it was Attack of the 50-Foot Woman. The first thing you see when you come to Cabana Bay is the amazing lobby. Talk about retro. It's so open and bright, and there's these gigantic palm trees in the middle. It almost reminds me of like an airport from like the 50s or 60s, you know yeah. what I mean? Like it reminds me of that movie with Leonardo DiCaprio, Catch Me If You Can, where they're like walking through the airport, like the Pan Am girls, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. You know what is so fun about this lobby? There's actually a bar. There's a bar in the lobby. So you could come in, you've had a, a, a long flight or whatever, you finally get here, you know, maybe there's a long line to check in or something, just go grab a drink. You could go over to the Swizzle Lounge and get yourself a cocktail and I don't know, I just love that. That's so fun. This resort opened in 2014 and there's actually 2,200 rooms. It is a big, big resort. This is a value hotel here at Universal Orlando Resort. And what that means is that you're not gonna be paying that much. I think hotel rooms start at like 130 or $140 a night, which I don't even think you can find a hotel room at Disney for maybe double or triple that right now. And they even have these family rooms, which are huge and they're awesome. But I did want to talk about the benefits of staying on property at Universal. And some of the benefits are that you get early park admission to some of the parks every day. So you get to go in like an hour earlier. Your resort key is kind of like your magic band. You can use this to charge stuff all over the resort, even in the parks. And thirdly, you have pool hopping privileges, which means that you could go to the other resorts and use their pools. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. And not all the resorts are in on that, so you might want to talk to the people at the desk to find out which ones you can do, but this key will get you into it. It's your magic key to the pools <laughs> of Universal Orlando. The only thing you don't get when you're at the value resorts, this in Endless Summer Resort, is you don't get the free express pass. So if you stay at like one of the more expensive hotels, like Hard Rock or Portofino Bay, you'll get the express pass with your park ticket purchase. And that's like upwards of like $300, 250, 300, something expensive. It's very expensive, gets you to the front of the line. And for some people, if you have a big family, it might be worth paying that higher price tag to stay at one of those hotels to get that express pass. Another Ordinary Adventures pro tip is take advantage of the luggage services. It's complimentary, and what they do is they will actually hold your luggage for you. So say it is your final day or something, and your flight isn't until 10 p.m. that night and you wanna go enjoy the park, they just bring all your luggage to them, they will hold it for you, it's absolutely free, you could tip them, and they'll keep it safe for you. You just come back and pick it up when you're ready to go. We use this. We use all it the time. every time. We're gonna use it this trip. We use it even like it, it works too, like even when you get here. Like say your room's not ready, just drop your stuff out there and go have fun. I love everything about this hotel from 
the lights in every part of it to even the restroom icons are very retro. They have a phone booth with actual retro phones, seating areas. It's just, I don't know, it's a vibe. I even appreciate all the different <laughs> rugs that they have on the floors. It just reminds me of like 60s, 50s, 60s era. Not that I was alive, I'm not that old. They gave us our hotel keys and Kitra got ET. <gasps> I did, who did you get? <laughs> Your favorite. Sorry, but I'm the clear winner here. <laughs> you should have been like, uh, can we switch the names on the... <laughs> he probably would have been like... Yeah, it was already printed. He probably would have done it for you, but... Yeah. But it's cool. You do get to keep these as a souvenir. Yeah, that's a fun little souvenir. Because it does say your name on them. Love that. Let's go check out our room. <laughs> Floor. By the way, if you want to know where you are in the hotel, five is the building number, seven is the floor, and then that's the room number. All right. Welcome to my crib. I almost said suite, but this is not a suite. <laughs> so this is just the standard room. This is not one of the suites, but it is a pretty nice room for the cheap price that you pay. Should we start our tour? In the bathroom? Yes. <laughs> the first thing you see when you walk in is this awesome bathroom with this retro style mirror. Are you going to say hello to yourself? Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and a, a fun thing at this resort, I don't know if people either love it or hate it, all of the toiletries are actually kind of like 60s, 70s brand like soaps and shampoos. Like for instance, <laughs> they use the Zest facial bar. Yeah, I think that's awesome. How retro is that? And then the shampoo is actually the VO5 or volume five or whatever it is. But look at the little bottles. And it's actually not that bad of shampoo. I've been using it for a few days now and I mean, my hair looks pretty good, right? Yeah. <laughs> and look at the shower curtain. You yeah. know, like that design, it was the same design that I think is in Bayliner Diner. Yeah. Then, you know, it's a pretty boring shower, but it's nice and it has a a thing for, to hang your bathing suit on. Yeah, I thought that was like the tight rope walk. That's so satisfying. <laughs> you thought that was a tight rope walk? No, I was just making it Better up. start practicing. <laughs> just kidding. And then... You toilet. Got standard toilet. <laughs> yeah, and it's, they just give you cotton now. Which is pretty nice, actually. It's not, not like the thin it's, stuff. It's kind of thin. Yeah. You're right, it is. I lied. <laughs> we gotta do the flush test. I'll give it like a three out of five. Three out of five toilets? Three out of five Peters. But I guess like a two and a half for me. <laughs> so I have this Con Air hair dryer that is attached to the wall so I don't even think about stealing it. <laughs> then there's a couple drawers here. Yeah. I don't think there's anything in them. There's nothing in them. Yeah. That's where we put our stuff. There's right. some extra towels down there. Yeah, let's go check out the beds. Or the bedroom area. What about the closet? Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> sure. We have this little closet. It's got, you know, ten hangers, an ironing board. There's a safe all the way back there. Ooh, there's even an iron. Oh, yeah. We can finally iron our shirt. Oh, they have your bags in here for some oh, reason. Yeah, there's a Target bag in there? <laughs> Dang! <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what's inside. This is the best part, obviously, of the whole room. It's such a good reveal. Look at it! It's so bright! I love the orange backrest to the bed and the art on the wall. What does that one look like to you? Yeah, it looks like R2D2 to me. Doesn't it look like Once R2D2? Once you see it, you can't unsee it. And yeah. I love underneath the TV here, they have this dresser that has all these colorful drawers. Yeah, and here you have a little mini fridge. Yeah. There's a little tiny coffee maker with regular coffee and decaf and all the fixins on the side. It's been coming in pretty handy for me. I've already gone through like an entire thing and they had to refill it. Yeah. <laughs> little retro side table with these cute little chairs. They almost look like little avocados. Yeah, we've been using it as our computer work area. Yeah, this is where I edit all the videos. This is where the magic happens. 
then over next to the beds, they have a retro alarm clock, which I, I kind of <laughs> dig that. Yeah. Am I ever going to use it? No. I'm going to use my phone always? Yes. But they also have some plugs next to the alarm clock. There isn't any USB plugs, strangely. Some over there, but there aren't over here well, where I need retro, it. retro, Peter. Do you think USBs <laughs> existed back then? No, it's called theming. <laughs> No Bible. The best thing about this hotel room, though, is we have the most amazing view into Volcano Bay. We do? Yeah. We're up on the, the top level, and if you look out, you can see the volcano. How awesome is that? Ooh, and the Lazy River. Oh, wow. We're going to go in there eventually. But isn't that cool? You could look like literally into Volcano Bay. That is an amazing view. Oh my view. gosh. And if you look in the distance, you could see the, the Orlando Eye and the, what was that thing called? The Sky Flyer or the yeah. High Flyer or, you know, that thing that I'm never going to go on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't realize we were that close. You know what's over there? The Uno's. That we, there's oh, this yeah. chain restaurant we called Uno's. Uno's. Yeah. It's so close, Peter. I never realized we were that close to it. That's kind of yeah. cool. So the main place to eat at Cabana Bay is called Bayliner Diner. And this is kind of like a cafeteria food hall. There's a bunch of different stalls with different things. There's burgers, there's pasta, there's pizza, there's a bakery. Yeah, there's literally something for everybody. They even have these reusable mugs. You could get sodas and you could get ices, which is probably what I'm going to get today. And you could get coffee, you could get fill them up with whatever you want. So that's another benefit. That is a pro tip. If you're staying at a resort, a Disney resort, a Universal resort, get the resort refillable mug here at Cabana Bay. This mug will run you $10 for one day. But if you, the longer you stay, the more affordable it becomes. Like, so if you have a length of stay, which I think is like a week, it's like $18. Great deal. Look what they got here. They got my Mai Tais. Oh my God, they do. That's kind of cool. They have a good selection. Yeah. I love that they have a build-it-yourself s'mores kit because they actually have fire pits outside that you can make s'mores. That's just a fun little extra touch. You get, They have all your essentials here. They even have the sticks. They have so many options here. They even have a bunch of pre-made salads. And you were looking at the sandwiches. Mm, I'm still learning your french fries. They have a deli section, and I thought it was just gonna be like cold sandwiches, but they actually have like a hot Cuban sandwich, a roast beef sandwich, a grilled cheese, you could add bacon to it. There's actually so many selections here. I ordered from the international section, which has some of the more like interesting stuff. There's also a pizza section where you could get pastas and stuff like that. And then there's the boring section, which Peter ordered from where you could get like chicken fingers and hamburgers and stuff. I mean, they give you a lot. That's like a huge plate of food. Hey, if I knew they had grilled cheese, I would have ordered the grilled cheese. I, I know. Didn't... I ran over to tell him as you, he already had ordered his chicken fingers. I'm like, they got bacon grilled cheese over here, but it was too late. We'll have to come back another night and get it. Next time. Well, that's a good <laughs> thing about staying on resort. It could happen tonight. And over next to the Bayliner Diner, they have a 600 seat food court. It's decked out in the mid-century modern style that I love. It even has that... <laughs> that mural on the wall, which looks so cool. Originally, I thought it was Dave Perello who did that mural, but it's actually this guy named Josh who worked for Pixar. He did a lot of the stuff in the last film, Luca. He's amazing. But as I said, tip, get one of your resort refillable mugs, and then you can use it on the Coca-Cola freestyle machines. But I'm going to show you today something more interesting. Right over here, it's new. By the way, there's codes on here that keep track of how long you paid for this. They put it on there, it's a touchless system. It's magic. It's almost like using the force. It's like, ugh. It's like I'm force choking. Oh my god. I think it's cool. Wait for next refill. Oh no. <laughs> what the heck? It yelled at me. Did you hear it? Did like that horn? It was like, like yeah. a game show. I don't, that's never done that before. Wait, wait for next refill. What the? Wait, wait for next refill. <laughs> you heard the man. Jeez, Peter, you're being well. greedy. Wait, wait, <laughs> wait for next refill. It says my next, wait, hold on, it said. Wait for next refill. Two minutes and 15 seconds. Wow. So I, 
So I can't get too much Coke. Yeah, wait, 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 wait for next refill. You heard him. And I just wanted to let you guys know my pro tip. We can fill these cups with the icy. So I got a Coke icy in here. Is that allowed? Yes, I asked them. Okay. I don't know why you keep doubting me. I don't know, because there's no like chip in those machines. Well, yeah, you just use the lever and there's no guy like yelling at you to wait. You could just keep <laughs> going back there and nobody stops you. <laughs> I'm guessing they do that so that like there isn't a family that buys a cup and just like keeps on refilling soda and like pouring it into like other cups that they didn't buy here or something. Oh, I didn't think of that. Yeah. They want to get around the, the cheap skates. I decided to get the Brazilian beef, and this is marinated and grilled flat iron steak served with a chimichurri sauce and your choice of two sides. I decided to get the plantains and the masala roasted cauliflower. Look at this beef. They gave me a lot. Yeah, that looks good. I wish I got that. Like, we really could have just shared this. Yeah. Like, this is a lot of food. All right, let's try it out, see if it's any good. Oh no, I grabbed a fork and a spoon. <laughs> okay, I'll just eat it without a knife. <laughs> I need to go get one, but I'm lazy. Oh yeah, ooh, chimichurri sauce, that's what sold me. Okay, let me go get my knife. I am kind of disappointed that they don't give you real silverware here. I feel like they used to. Maybe because of COVID or something? Maybe. Okay. Cheers, my love. I'm surprised at how flavorful this actually is. I feel like the meat by itself is just okay, but the chimichurri sauce makes it so much better. I might have to go get like another side of it. <laughs> I need like an endless supply of this chimichurri. I can't believe I'm gonna rate this meal probably like a four out of five. Wow. If you're feeling adventurous, try the International Station because it's honestly really good. I know Kitra doesn't love the food at Bayliner Diner. Like, hey, what, don't call me out. Hey, when you're here, <laughs> you should go to City Walk or eat in the park. Like, I mean, you're here, right? Yeah. So there's better food at City Walk. But if you, you're here after a long day in the park, there's a, a lot of selection. So you can find selection for the whole family, which is what I like. Speaking of selection, <laughs> I got myself just pouring out my... Look at all the ketchups yeah. you got. Well, they used to have a ketchup station, but yeah. it's not it's not open because of COVID. Yeah. So so I got to open my packets. And I, I like a lot of ketchup. You do. If you like a lot of ketchup, tell me in the comments below if you like a lot of ketchup. But another thing I like is chicken tenders, chicken fingers. I am a connoisseur. I know it's probably not the, <laughs> the best thing to order for a video, but I, I was just in the mood. Look at these things. They look decent. Yeah. And you can get them three or five. I think the three meal is for kids. Five meal is for adults. Yeah, it's for adults. And you can get honey mustard or you can get barbecue sauce. I got the honey mustard because I am smart. They're exactly what you want from chicken tenders at a theme park resort. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, Are they actually good? Or are they they just are okay? good. It's not gourmet chicken fingers. It's just chicken fingers. But you know what? Sometimes you just want chicken fingers. So four out of five Peters. Nice. I love chicken fingers, so maybe not for everybody, but if you love chicken fingers, get them here. I think what I really like about this place is the aesthetic. It just has a vibe from like the tabletops to that mural to like they have like retro TVs showing like old commercials and stuff. And they have obviously like music from like the 50s and 60s playing over the loudspeaker. It's awesome. Even, even like the lights and stuff, like for a value resort. Universal and Lowe's have gone out of their way to give you a feeling of you're not just in like, you know, a hotel that it, it could have just been like a cheap hotel. It, it feels cool. Another thing I'd recommend is the pizzas here. The pizzas here are actually not bad. They're a lot better than what they look like. I've, I've gotten them a couple times now this trip and you can actually get them delivered to your room. Like that's the form of room service here is they have like pizza delivery. So it's kind of fun. So right over here is one of those fireplaces that you could roast your s'mores. Right now it's like kind of raining because of Florida. <laughs> I know, Florida, am I right? Yeah, so there's two pools here at Cabana Bay. There's one on the west side and one on the east side. The one on the east side is more of the party pool. That is closed right now. The one on the west side has like the sand. Like there's sand all around. Yeah. It's nice. There's the lazy river, which <laughs> is so cool. What other value resort has a freaking lazy river? Yeah, like, I, I think that's why this becomes like one of my favorite resorts. I, I love Lazy Rivers, as you know, 
If I have one small qualm with this resort, it's they make you actually purchase a tube to go into the Lazy River. You can go in there without a tube, but if you want a tube, you need to buy one. For all the hotel guests, they have fresh, clean towels. You could grab as many as you want and use them throughout the day, and then you drop them back off when you're done. Yeah. They're free of charge. No $25. Unlike the cruise. The cruise, if you lost one, you had to pay $25. So those were like my most prized possession the entire trip. It's like, heaven forbid I lose all these towels. But here, I mean, I would still recommend be nice, do the right thing. Once you're done with your towel, put it back. Don't just leave them all over the place. But if I wanted to grab like 18 towels, I could. I'm not going to, but I could. The pool bar over here is called the Hideaway Bar and Grill. And it is also themed in that mid-century modern kind of aesthetic. Let's go check out what, what they got. So my guess is they have tropical drinks. What do you think? Probably. Oh yeah, they got a big selection. So one thing worth noting is from this bar and all the pool bars here, you have to order the featured cocktails in a collectible Cabana Bay mug. That is not something you can get around. The good news is it costs you $15.50 for your first one, and then refills are cheaper. They're like 12 bucks each. Yeah, that's a good deal. Good deal, and also for $3 extra, you can get a, a shot of rum on top. But what I got was the Hideaway Colada. This is a black cherry rum, pina colada, cool breeze, strawberry puree, lava flow. And as you know, <laughs> I am a connoisseur of the pina colada over at Disney, which I think is basically a lava flow. If you look at this, it looks exactly like it a does. pina colada. So, okay, let's see. Oh, yeah. Can't taste the alcohol. All it. All you taste is the fruit and the sugar. That's why I like it. How do you know? <laughs> How do you know, Universal? How do you know? Anyways, five out of five theaters. Highly really? recommend. Yes. Nice. I ordered the fun in the sun because we're having so much fun in the sun today. <laughs> Just kidding. It's overcast. But I wanted to feel like I was having fun in the sun. And this has mango vodka, mango puree, sour mix, and pineapple juice. Oh my god. This is so good. Holy crap. I didn't even know there was a mango vodka. <laughs> There's every kind of vodka. Wow. All right, this is my new favorite drink, like, ever. It really does just taste like I'm drinking mango juice. It's almost like I'm drinking, like, a mango candy or something because of that sour mix, like, kind of like a sour gummy or something like that. And I did talk to the bartender they have a full bar here, so you could get any kind of drink that you like if you want like a Jack and Coke or whatever, and those just come in regular cups. And they have beers and all that stuff. So it's only like the fun drinks that come in these collectible mugs. We're gonna have so many freaking collectible <laughs> mugs by the end of this trip. Yeah. I really, we have four so many. So, so, we already have four. So how many more can, do you think we oh, yeah. can get? What I love about these is they have these tops that you just screw on, which makes me think, you know, it's obviously so you don't spill them by the pool, I'm guessing. Are you supposed to push it on or screw it on? Oh, are you supposed to push it on? Oh, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, why isn't it working? That always happens to me. Um, but yeah, I love it. It's like a sippy cup. Yeah. You can put your straw in there. I wonder if they're like, you could bring it in the lazy river. Probably not, right? I saw some people with them. In the lazy yeah. river? Yeah. Is, is it allowed? I don't know. I saw them in there. Okay. All I'm saying is smart thinking universal. <laughs> Over to the left of the bar, there is a place where you can actually order food out here too. And they have like things like nachos, fries, salads. Maybe we should have came out here. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I think they have more variety at the Baylander Diner. Yeah, so that's true. I think, I think it worked out. Honey, I don't want to alarm you or anything, but it looks like you have a lava flow on your tongue right now. <laughs> it's like bright red. Why is it? <laughs> I'm not trying to make you self cut. Wait, let me see it again. <laughs> so over on this side, the pool is 6,000 square feet and it's a zero entry pool, which is pretty cool. Oh, that rhymes. And then there's also a hot tub, of course. I need one. Okay, I like two. 
I'll take three. <laughs> <laughs> One of the many things I like about this pool is it's zero entry, which means you walk right in, kind of like you do at the beach. First thing in the morning, gotta love Florida. It's always warm here. This pool's kind of warm too. It feels yeah. nice. Is that like, it's not like, you know, some pools you get in and it's like freezing cold. Like this is actually like the perfect temperature. I can get used to this life. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the pool is like three to four feet deep. I think at the highest, it's like five feet. So it's safe for your little ones. No, I'm not a doctor, don't listen to me. There's no, no le not legally binding. I feel like one of, one of my favorite things about this resort is Volcano Bay is literally right over there. Like you could see the top of the volcano from here. It's within yeah. walking distance. Volcano Bay might be my favorite park. It is our, oh, your favorite <laughs> theme park in Actually, general? Actually, no, no, that's probably not true. <laughs> I was like, wait, I thought that was Epcot or Animal yeah. Kingdom. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's right there. So, you know, you can always purchase your ticket and head on over and then walk on back and jump in this pool if you really wanted to. It's all possible. If you believe it, you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like for the adult sizes, they got a $15 sit in large, 47 inch tube for $12.50 and a 48 inch tube for $9.50. And then the kid sizes are a little cheaper, $7.50 or four bucks, oh, four bucks for a beach ball. And they do inflate it for you, like they're like inflating right now, so. That's nice. Worth it then. <laughs> no, yeah. We're not gonna get one. We're gonna go in the Lazy River, but I asked and you don't need to buy a tube. It's only like if you want to feel fancy, then you get yourself a tube. Yeah. We're not gonna be in the Lazy River, we're gonna be in the Swimming River. Yep. You're right. We're gonna have to work. It's not <laughs> even gonna be lazy. <laughs> <laughs> and remember, no diving. Oh, this is colder. Oh, oh, Why is it so much colder? Oh, oh, it's so much colder. I was just like giving so much praise to Cabana Bay. I'm like, oh, their pools are like so nice. It's not too bad. It's just a different. You know what it is? Maybe it's because they have all the trees here. So it's like, this is in the, I don't know. I don't know why. This yeah, is. this is noticeably cooler, but it's still not bad. Especially for, and when you're in Florida, it's good. Yeah. Oh my God, it is a lot cooler. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to do it. <laughs> Woo. Woo. <laughs> okay, here goes. <laughs> it is it's a lot colder. I, I wonder if they keep the other pool. I feel like I they probably do. We're the only ones in here without tubes. Yeah, we're oh, idiots. No. We're the noobs without the tubes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I am a lazy river connoisseur. You are. You can't call me a noob. This is a pretty good one, if I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. For a value resort, like you yeah. get a freaking lazy river. I mean, it's Concluded. not very themed, but it's... But it's nice, yeah. and it's pretty big. Yeah. I like it. It's been a while since we've been in here, so I'm happy. and I do like the back thing. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you for waiting for me, my love. Yes. <laughs> this is unlike when we're in the fearless. No, you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Come on. I thought you Come actually on. loved me. <laughs> you actually... Come on. It's not that bad. I don't want to get my hair wet. <laughs> okay, fine. Fine, I'll take one. Why do I need this for you too? <laughs> Fine, I'll just get my hair wet, okay? <laughs> Not like this one time. I actually thought you loved me. <laughs> I do love you. You're such a jerk. <laughs> You're such a jerk. 
Who needs Volcano Bay, am I right? No, I'm not right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you guys haven't seen when we went to Volcano Bay, they actually have a river that goes fast. It's called the Fearless River. And it's like our favorite thing ever. It's the greatest. But, you know, sometimes it's nice to just be in the Lazy River. <laughs> but yeah, check out our video. Volcano Bay is amazing. So in normal times, they have these squirt guns so you can come over here and squirt your family. It's kind of fun. Another thing that I just noticed, we were just talking to someone that was in the Lazy River, those tubes that they sell actually have cup holders. So you can get a drink over at uh, the bar over there, and then the hideaway, I think it's called. <laughs> you could be hanging out in the Lazy River with your drink. How awesome is that? After swimming around in the Lazy River, we decided to grab lunch at the hideaway, and I got the Honolulu hot dog. That is pineapple, bacon, sausage, passion fruit, mustard, and lemon garlic sauce. The interesting thing about this hot dog is there isn't an opening. The opening is, it's a <laughs> hole. Have you ever seen a hot dog bun like that? No, it looks good. That's crazy. Hmm. I've never had a hot dog like this with all these like fruity flavors. Is it good? In it. Yeah, it's good. I mean, we are getting bar food at the pool. So it's not like anything like incredible, but I would give this like a three and a half out of five Peters. This is nice. definitely a solid choice. And it came with a bunch of crinkle cut fries and it has like some kind of seasoning on there. So good deal. And I got the fish tacos. This is fried cod with tomato, cucumber, and a chipotle sauce. And I got a side of French fries. These look surprisingly good. I'm kind of shook by how good they actually look. I don't know if I've ever had a fish taco with cucumbers on it before, <laughs> but I mean, hey, I ain't mad at it. I feel like the best part of fish tacos is that chipotle sauce, so if that's good, like... Ooh, it's good. So I, hopefully the rest of these are good. These look messy. What we got napkins? Ooh, they're hot. They're warm. Oh, wow. It's really beer battered. Look at that, it's like crispy looking. Yeah, it looks almost like... Um, fish and chips? Fish and chips, yeah. yeah. Bro. Mmm. <laughs> These are pretty flavorful. The fish does just kind of taste like an elevated fish stick, which some people might love or some people might not like. So it's not like that fresh fish taste, but it is pretty good. Like you said, we're at a bar, this is bar food, and probably rated the same, like a three and a half out of five. Yeah. But the flavors are there, man. And then I also got french fries. <laughs> and, a, and a cider. Yeah, and I got a pineapple cider, because why not? Yeah, we've had this at Universal before. We love their pineapple cider. It's very good. It's very different than Ace. Yeah, this gets a five out of five. And I just want to let you guys know that the food here at the hideaway is super cheap. Like these fish tacos are only $10.99. And you get two of them and they're big and you get fries. Like you get the side for free. So that's a pretty good deal. And I think they take the annual pass discount as well. So it's even cheaper if you have the annual pass. It's part of my combo. I got a soda and it's funny. They serve them in these cups, which are good for two hours after your purchase of food. So it like keeps track. <laughs> so you better go get 20 sodas before yes. your two hours are up. True. I know I keep on saying this, but I just love the look of these buildings, the beach resort, like the colors and how retro it looks. It really does give you that vibe and that feeling. You see over here, we're in the Lazy River Courtyard and that's where the Lazy River is and it's also where the small pool is. But over on the other side, which I think they call the Cabana Courtyard, that's where I, I call it the party pool. Yeah, that is the party pool. There's a water slide. It's like a huge pool. Yeah, ha yeah. the water slide almost looks like one of those, they used to have like high dives at yeah. like old resorts. And now you can't do that because because yeah. of lawsuits and stuff like that. But it, it, it looks like one of those high dive structures. Yeah, and even like the buildings on that side look different. These are more, I guess, quote unquote modern because they're like high rise. And the buildings over there, it looks like a classic like retro motel. Yeah. Right next to the Bayliner Diner is my favorite part in all of Cabana Bay. Can you guess what it is? It's the Starbucks. They have a full-size Starbucks in here and it's open all day. I know at some of the other resorts, like we recently just stayed at Dockside and it was only open until like 2 p.m. there. But this one is open until like 10 p.m. every night. 
so you could come here throughout the day and get your Starbucks. And I just love the vibe over here. They have these mermaid murals on the wall. That is a tongue twister. And I don't really understand, I guess because Starbucks, like the original logo, like had a mermaid on it. Do you think that's why? Yeah. Oh, okay. And then they have like a bunch of coffee beans on the wall and it almost looks like Connect Four or something, which kind of goes with like the retro vibe. Right next to the Starbucks is the Universal Gift Shop. And I love this from the retro logo to the retro style that is contained inside the store. And they have a ton of Cabana Bay merchandise, which is, I don't think it's strange because every resort has their own merchandise, Yeah. but there's just so much of there's it, which so is- so much. There's everything from the beach towel, there's coffee mugs, they even have toothpick holders. <laughs> they, have, <laughs> they have so many different style of t-shirts, yeah. all equally cool. There's a hat. Do I need a new hat? <laughs> There's just like so much to buy here. And of course, like any universal gift shop, if you come in and you go a little further, it's it's all the stuff you'd find in the park. It's like Marvel, it's Harry Potter, it's the Universal Studios retro merchandise. So there, you can get some of the stuff if you were at the park and forgot to buy stuff. The funny thing is they even sell Cabana Bay bathrobes. I want one. Why do I want one? They look so <laughs> comfy and nice. Yeah. What the heck? <laughs> and they even have a bowling shirt based on the bowling alley that is upstairs that we're going to show you a little bit later. Okay, maybe I'm not going to get it. It's $80. It does feel like a good quality though, but I just feel like I would get it dirty. <laughs> they do have a whole section of like sundries. So if you forgot your, your suntan lotion, your Advil, any of your supplies, they, they got you covered. They even have like swimwear, so if you forgot your bathing suit or you just wanted to like have an upgrade, they have a bunch of different <laughs> bathing suits and of course sunscreen lotion and sandals and flip flops and sunglasses, all that good stuff. One of my favorite things that Universal sells are these trophies. I hope they never stop doing that. But I hate to break it to you, there's no, none that say world's greatest boyfriend. Sorry. But there is world's greatest I know. girlfriend. I know. I'd like to thank all of you. Without you, <laughs> this would not be possible. So thank you. Oh wait, I read the wrong name was in the envelope. Sorry. <laughs> wow. Pro tip, if you're staying at a Universal Studios Resort Hotel, this is something you're gonna wanna take advantage of. If you are shopping in the parks or even in the hotel, you can actually get your purchases sent directly to your room. So if you buy, say you're a Kitra and you buy all the wands in Harry Potter, they can just magically show up on your bed when you get back to the room. My question is though, we, we now have this bag full of cups. Could they send this to my room? No. Because I'm really sick of carrying it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know they wouldn't, but yeah, buy all the wands and then you'll be a wizard when you get to your room. Sounds like a good idea to me. So right above Starbucks is the Galaxy Bowl. And can we talk about how awesome the neon signs are in this there's, place. There's so many cool neon signs, but I will admit, I think this one it gets the Ordinary Adventure star. Yeah. It's so good. And Galaxy Bowl reminds you of like a bowling alley from the 50s, but it's been upgraded. There's like neon lights. They do like a thing at night where the lights are out and they put the lights on and it's almost like rock and bowl. Yeah, yeah it's, it's pretty cool. Yeah, we're gonna have to go in there someday. We've never actually been in there. We always yeah. just walk by it and we're like, wow, that's so cool. Yeah. It is like an extra charge, it's not included, obviously, but I don't think it's that expensive. There's always a time on a vacation where you have a night to do something. You've already been at the parks all day, or maybe you went to Volcano Bay and you have some, some hours to kill. Galaxy Bowl. A lot of hotels don't have something like that, so it's cool that this hotel does. They also have an arcade here. It's actually called the game o which is so fun. I was almost kind of expecting there to be retro games in here, but it seems like everything is pretty modern. Like they have a Jurassic Park game and a Halo game. What else do they got in here? Monopoly. Look at this. What do you do? <laughs> oh my God. It's another like Wheel of Fortune looking game. <laughs> what else going on there? I don't know. Wait, Monopoly was around back then. So I think technically, right? Technically, it, yeah. it kind of works. You know who wasn't around back then? Who? The Minions. Peter, they've been around for centuries. <laughs> we just didn't know. We just didn't know. Actually, in the Minion movie, it probably explains their origin. <laughs> and of course, you can win tickets and then trade in those tickets for 
prizes that are not worth nearly as much as what you spend for the tickets. That's how arcades make money. This game is called Power Roll, and the whole point is to win tickets. You want to try to get it into the bonus area. That's where you get the most amount of tickets. And you just pull this this lever and, and hope for the best. So let's try. OK, enough talking, more winning tickets. <laughs> This is so stupid. We should have spent our money on the bowling. <laughs> this is kind of like bowling. Hurry up! Hurry up! All right, ready? Hurry and up. go! Oh my god, that was pathetic. Oh my god, that was so bad. I thought. <laughs> I thought like, because it's like you don't want to pull it too hard. You don't want to. So okay. Oh, do I get to go again? No, I think that was it. Wow, what a waste. I got, we, we I, well, got I got 16 I got tickets. 16. So many of these things are so confusing. This is how I feel every time I go to a casino. I never understand what any of it means. Yeah. What What does it mean? It's a giant wheel. I'm sure there's instructions on how to play right here. It looks too complicated. Oh, um, oh my god, look at that. After all that. Thanks a lot. Why Bob. isn't he fi fixing it? Thanks a lot. Bob. Yeah, what the heck? I'm gonna try this one instead. It looks like a fidget spinner. Yeah, so remember when fidget spinners were a thing? What do I do? Do I just spin the wheel? I don't know. You could win a thousand ticket bonus though. Okay, let's do it. I got I gotta win us a warhead. <laughs> Better. Alright, what do I do? This is a game of skill, not high speed. Okay, spin it now. Spin it. Spin again. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know what you're doing. Keep on spinning. Way Woo! too slow. Honey, you only won 10 tickets. It said it wasn't a gill of... <laughs> <laughs> It said it wasn't a game of skill, like of being fast. It said it was about being creative, I thought. That's why I was going back and forth. I don't think I was supposed to do that. No, oh my I god, I'm the worst at this. <laughs> I want 10. You know how expensive this is costing me? What the heck? Okay, I, screw this game. A few moments later. This is a game of skill, not high speed. Okay, spin it now. Yes. Oh. Oh. Way too slow. I don't like this game. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I could win a minion. <laughs> Here we go. Oh my god, the cat countdown is going. Which one do we want, Peter? Which one Choose. do we want? I want this one, I think. Oh my god, I'm. Oh no. Do I need to go over more? <laughs> Honey, you're not helping. You're, you're not, not helping. You need to choose. Okay, I want this one. Oh. You might have got him. No. Oh no! You're not good at these games. I'm sorry. <laughs> no okay, you could win 2,500 tickets here. With my luck, I'm gonna win 10, just like I won at every other thing. Yeah. Do we even have enough points? Ah! Uh, I think we're out. Wow, that was a waste of $5. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how many, how many things we can get. I'm pretty sure I have enough for one warhead. <laughs> so I have 36 credits. <laughs> Or you could get like... Warheads are 15 each. So you could get two warheads. I could. Or... Dang, I really wanted this gummy pizza. That's 75 75 though. no, I don't think you can afford that. Hmm. You can afford a gummy mini burger. You know what, I'll get us the warheads. Okay, what which one? What color do you want? Uh, are they different flavors? Yeah. Wild cherry, let's see. Blue raspberry, I want blue raspberry. Okay, blue so raspberry. one blue raspberry, please. Okay. And one... The pink one and one watermelon. <laughs> Wait, and then I still have six left. Is there anything for five? 
nothing. I like, I like an army guy. Oh, yeah, give me an army guy. Give me two army guys. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> this worked out to be really funny. <laughs> yeah. So let's see how how much we could spend five bucks on that. Five dollars. Oh look, someone oh, threw in a gummy you. pizza. This is what you get for five dollars. I think even because he's nice. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Thank You're welcome, guys. Anytime. <laughs> oh, you got me two different ones too. Thank you. Yeah. I think if we went to uh, like a 7-Eleven, we could have got all of it for like a dollar. Would you like your warhead, my love? Yes. <laughs> and which army man would you like? The one with the rifle? I don't need the army or man. Or the one... No, you, those are all yours. You you won those. Okay. Yeah, you're right. I did. <laughs> I haven't had a warhead in like 20 years. I'm wondering if... Is it really as sour as I remember it to be? Oh yeah, you gotta like take it off your tongue because they're they're so good. <laughs> right next to the arcade is the Fun in the Sun Rec Center, where you normally I think can play like table tennis and stuff like that. Right now we're here during Horror Nights, and they are doing this event. It's like the Jacked Up Experience. We'll put some clips on the screen right now that you can see because we got to experience this in the future so i can't tell you anything about it but <laughs> it was so scary do you remember when did can you even believe that i was shook I, I, it was it was shocking into the other side of galaxy bowl is the jack lewayne physical fitness studio i'm not sure if you know this but jack lewayne was like a famous fitness star i think in the 60s or a long time ago before my time so this is his family actually worked with Universal to create this fitness studio. It has like relics and awards that he has won or and replicas and photos and stuff like that. And of course it's a cool gym, which will It's a physical fitness center, Peter. Yeah. Physical fitness. Get it right. Physical fitness. Yeah. Gotta work on my physical fitness. <laughs> but I work on it in the arcade. <laughs> Or the yeah, we we're, ne we're we're never gonna see the inside of that place, <laughs> yeah. except for when I shot this B-roll. But <laughs> enjoy. So we did that thing where we forgot an outro. We're back home now. Yeah, we're having too much fun at Cabana Bay. <laughs> if you want to see our video from the other value resort over at Universal Orlando, we'll put the video right over there. It's endless summer. It's an awesome place. Under a hundred bucks a night sometimes. Yes, yeah, so we want to say thank you to some of our Patreons. That includes MW, Marlon Gutierrez, JR Cook, and JC Russell. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll, we'll see, see you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure.